Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create an emotional effect in your videos using Camtasia 9. All right, so there are many ways to create an emotional effect in your videos, and I'm going to share one of the methods that I use in our Dream Driven episodes. And it's really important, for me at least, to create an emotional feeling in the video when someone is watching our Dream Driven episodes. Because when you make someone feel something, whether it be excited, sad, they enjoy the video more, it makes it more exciting and enjoyable. So what I try to do in our videos is I try to create an emotional effect of inspiration, uh, being driven, motivation, that type of a feeling in, in our episodes that we call these dream driven episodes. And I'm going to share with you uh, the beginning part of one of these episodes and they usually come out on Fridays and they're usually adventures like outdoor adventures that we do and I'm gonna show the beginning part and I'm gonna show you what I mean when I'm talking about creating an emotional effect in your videos and I'm gonna show you how to do it after so I'll just play it here So that is sort of like the first 25 seconds of the video. So as you can see, if you've got that, you know, playing in your headphones, I've got an emotional song, I've got an inspirational quote, that it, it creates emotion. And that's what I want the viewers to feel when they're watching these dream-driven episodes. This episode actually has not been released yet. When this video comes out, the this dream-driven episode, episode 24, will come out on Friday. So if you're watching this on the Wednesday that this is being released, this video will be released two days after on Friday. And if you're watching this anytime, just type in Dream Driven episode 24 and you should get this video. I'll also put it in the description below. So what I do to create an emotional effect is a couple of things. First thing is the song. The song is very important. It will set the whole tone and mood of the entire video. Two, what I've added is an inspirational quote. So the quote here is, only in the darkness can you see the stars. And that is a quote by uh, Martin Luther King. And the reason why I chose this specific quote for this video is because in the video, the adventure that we're doing is we're going into this uh, cave adventure where we're actually doing this cave uh, repelling experience where we went like I don't know how many stories down into the ground these are caves that are thousands of years old and we basically went exploring in this cave for like six hours and it was a crazy experience definitely tests your fears and really what you're comfortable with actually what you're not comfortable with heights darkness that whole thing and so that's why I chose this specific quote to go with this video because it, it all goes with the theme of everything, right? Because we were in pitch black for six hours and it's, you know, when you're in the darkness, you can only see the stars when it's dark and, you know, stars are very beautiful. And it's kind of like this experience that we had in the darkness. It was like scary and dark, but there was also like this sense of accomplishment and growth that happened during the adventure. So I'm going to show you how to do this type of thing. So as I mentioned, the first thing is the song. And this song I got for free on a YouTube channel called No Copyright Sounds. And it's where we get most of our songs. It's a really cool channel because they offer free, no copyright free, music and it's high quality music like some of the songs have been playing on the radio and you can actually hear them like out in the public because they're that good like they're they're professional quality audio 
Uh, before, a lot of places that offer free music, they, they're they not professional quality. And this, like, you could, you could think that you could play this on the radio. So that's the first thing, is grab a high-quality song that matches with your video footage. So I wanted this song, you can kind of hear, it has more of a lower tone, an emotional tone, um, because... I wanted it to go with the, the darkness theme of when we were going in the, the caves doing the adventure. Next here, um, I put the quote and I told you I got the quote. So how I find quotes is I basically just go to Google and I type in the theme and what I'm looking for. So we were going to be, in, we were in the dark for six hours. So I, I typed in darkness quotes into Google. And I just go around and I read a bunch of them. I usually find one on the first page and I know instantly which quote is going to go for the video. I just feel it. When I saw this one, Only in the Darkness, Can You See the Stars, immediately I knew that was a quote for this video. It matched perfectly with the theme. Next is um, this video footage here of the stars. So I got this free stock video after I found the quote because um, the quote needs to match the background as well. So I found the quote and then, okay, it's talking about darkness and stars. So I went to YouTube and I typed in free copyright free space uh, stock footage, um, free stars stock footage and I found a couple of clips that I could use for free, copyright free, um, in my videos. And there's lots of stuff on YouTube that you can choose from. So those are the, the main elements. Now, after having all these pieces, the song, the free stock footage of the stars, and the quote, we need to match them up all together to create the emotional effect. So I'm going to play it again so that um, I can explain it after. So I'll play it here. So let's dissect this here. So the first line, I've got the audio. Track one is usually where I put my audio track because that's all the way at the bottom. I'm not going to be touching that uh, very much. So I just leave it all the way at the bottom and then I build from up there. So next, I wanted the free stock footage background to come on the first beat. Now, I'm going to show you how I'm able to to match things is because I actually see the audio. You also need to hear it, but you also need to see it on the timeline. Now, it's, it's more difficult. Um, before, I used to edit videos in the GoPro editor and in other editors, you can't actually see the audio and it makes it so much harder because then you just have to rely on your ear but here you can rely on your ears and you can see the audio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually stretch the timeline out so that we can see it more clearly. And I'll just magnify it a bit so that you can see the audio more prominently. So as you can see, I've got the first line here, which is the audio. Then in the second line, I've got the background. And you'll see here that I've matched up the first beat to the background. I wanted that to pop up first because if you listen to the song, it's got the piano and I'm not technically musical or anything like that. I'm actually bad at singing and dancing, but I like music and I'm, I'm not, I don't know how to create music. So it's, this isn't difficult to do. So you heard in that part of the song, there's part of the piano that's going like boom, 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 boom. So that's another reason why I chose this part of the song uh, for the beginning because it was easy to add text to and to add the beat to because it's very obvious that there's like a, a beat happening. So first thing I did was have the, the background pop up on the first beat 
And then you see here on the second beat, I have the first part of the text. And you'll notice that this line is not bolded, but the second line is, and I did that on purpose. So only in the darkness pops up. Then on the third beat here, can you see the stars? So that is more bolded because that is the the message that I wanted to get across was that, you know, the stars are still there in the darkness because a lot of people talk about darkness, you know, um, being like trapped or sadness. And when you're in darkness, you're usually in bad times. But in this case, in the darkness is when you see the stars and the stars are really beautiful and amazing. So that is the, the third thing that's happening in the beat. The fourth here is who the quote is by, and that I put in italics in a smaller font, and I put that that was by uh, Martin Luther King Jr., um, just so that people know who the quote is by. Then um, the, the song, the beat of this song was still going with that boom, 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 so I decided to still play off of that and continue on. So in the next beat, the first line gets removed. So we're kind of like going backwards. And then in the second one, the second line gets removed. And then as you can guess, the third line, and then this one actually had a two beats going on. So it goes boom, boom. So I had that removed. And then the next one here, the background gets removed completely. And then sometimes when you leave a space of darkness, that actually is helpful in creating emotional effect. So I'll just scroll up here. There's a little bit of darkness for a couple of seconds. And then when the beat hits back again, this is all going to the beat. I put the full quote back up just for a split second. And then again, when the beat hits again, then this starts, the intro starts playing. And then that just runs through normally. And then when the beat hits again, it goes episode 24, and then it goes into the normal uh, episode and the regular footage. So the beginning of the video is important because it sets the tone for the whole thing. It's going to set the mood. It's going to get people's attention or it's not going to get people's attention. So that's why I, the longest part of when I'm editing these dream driven episodes is the beginning part of the video because it's going to set the tone of the entire video. So after I've just explained that, I'm going to play it one more time for you guys. So I hope that makes sense to you guys after I've dissected the video here of what I was doing. Main things to take out of this are you've got to choose a good song. And you know what? It took me like over an hour to find the song and it really makes a difference. Don't just choose whatever song. I mean, if you're trying to get a video out to get a message, to have a powerful message, be emotional, spend time, find a good song. Like I said, I found this song on No Copyright Sounds and it's usually where we find most of our music. Two is the visuals and the background. So in this case, I decided to use a quote text and a free copyright, uh, free stock footage background. Uh, the quote I found on Google and the free stock footage I found on YouTube for free. And then, you know, it really depends on your song and how the beat is going, but zoom into the the audio here pay attention to you know the sounds the beats and when you place things strategically it really adds an effect where people feel emotion when they watch your video so if you want to see this video in its entirety we will have the links to this video in the description below and if you missed it um it goes out on fridays it's the dream driven episodes and you just basically need to find the playlist which will also be in the description
All right, so that is it for this video. That is how you create an emotional effect in your videos using Camtasia 9. So if you like this video, if I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you like these types of tutorials, head down to the description below as I have a bunch more free Camtasia 9 tutorials for you guys. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead.